Hello loves, this is Kimberly here. Welcome to A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. Look at who I have with me today. Hello everybody. My hubby. Actually, I am going to turn this video pretty much over to him. I have been sick all weekend and I'm still not feeling well, but I still wanted to put some content out to you and he's getting to be a professional, right? <laughs> Um, I want to share some updates with you of our patio. Um, so if you are interested in seeing what we've done, just keep on watching. So guys, excuse the plain face. Again, I'm not feeling well. I'm actually going to just relax for the next couple of days. But again, we want to share with you the updates. Now, one update or the update, it's only one. Uh, we said goodbye to our modular grill from Lowe's. It's gone, but it's not gone far. <laughs> Actually, my son, my oldest son that recently moved out, he said he wanted it. He's gonna squeak another year or two out of it. Good luck, Darian. <laughs> but he wanted it, so we moved it to his space and we purchased a new grill from Sam's Club. And you'll see my hubby cooking on that grill. Stay tuned. And guys, as you can see, he is already cooking. This is the grill from Sam's Club. He's doing some burgers. He's doing some ribs. Slow cooking some ribs on the grill. Uh, I'm gonna do some sausage. I don't know what else we're doing, <laughs> or he's doing. I'm going to do some baked beans over here on the side burner. So it's going to be him today. Now this grill, um, it's a little bit smaller than the old grill from Sam's, but it does have a trash can, which I could put a trash bag in there and use it. It have a bun warmer. So you can put your hot dog and hamburger buns in there. And that's something cooking. that we did not have with the previous one. Correct. And they have a side burner from which the previous grill had two side burners. And it also come with a grill cover. Um, I like the color of it, it's slate gray. Oh, this right here is the holder for the gas. And unlike the other grill, this whole grill, which is the side burner and the four burners on the grill, and the rotisserie takes one gas can. The previous grill took two gas cans. Right. The previous grill had two side burners and a sink, which we never used, and a refrigerator that we never used outdoor. Because we didn't have a plug out here, we would have to run an extension cord to use it. Um, they have a few less things than the previous grill because the previous grill had opera lights going along here. Um, the sewer in the back it had a light in the back of the grill that light up the grill at nighttime. This one don't have all of that but it's compact, it's nice, they have four burners, a rotisserie came with it and um, it still has a sear for steaks and everything if you want to sear steaks on the grill. So it pretty much has and I'm, and I'm not saying pretty much, it has everything that we will use. Exactly. Our kitchen, our main kitchen, or our kitchen is on the back of the house, just steps away from this grill. I'm trying to keep my burgers moist. Trying to keep it a little simple today. If you don't know, my hubby is known on YouTube on this channel <laughs> as Chef Daryl Daryl. He's not a professional chef, let me put it that way. No. But he loves to grill out. And he loves to dress the part. So show show your uh your attire. Well today I chose the stripe apron. And I have my red hat on that has Chef Daryl Daryl on it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
we like to be a little extra around here, y'all. So if you realize, we used to have two lounging chasers over where the grill sits. So what we did, we put the grill in that spot because you get more shade on that side than this side of the patio on the right side as far as the left go, it get more sun. So we moved the lounging chasers over here and then I had the idea where I can regain four seats instead of just two seats by breaking them down and setting them up like this in the corner. Now you know we as women, <laughs> We have ideas as well. This is nice. And again, we do gain four seats. So I, I told my hubby, you could actually make this <laughs> look like a sectional. So we're going to try that. All right. Push the other one. Uh -uh. Just push the other one in. Push the other in. That way? Yeah. But you ain't going to have no corner. I don't want no corner. You need no bike. You can flip it. You can flip it. So we're playing around with it. It's so lightweight. That's what the neat uh, uh, neat thing. Okay, you can slide that back there. No, 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 no. No, no. Push that back out. Like this. Slide that down. Right. Slide that down. Which way? Slide this down to all the way to the corner. Okay. Right, and then put that on the end. You still have four seats. It's just in the corner, and you can make it look as a, like a sectional. So let me know what you think. Do you like it the way hubby had it from the jump, or do you like it like this? Let me know down in the comments section below. So now he has sausage on the grill. This is an oldie but goodie, guys. <laughs> Roger Wood. I grew up on this sausage. <laughs> Me too. Uh, it's been around for a long time. So he's putting that on the grill. Put a little black pepper on it. Putting it on the grill, and whoever wants to, they can eat it like this or make a sausage dog with it. Do you all know about sausage dogs? Look, look, look. Coleslaw on it. Homemade coleslaw. Now sausage, they cook fast. So you have to really keep your eye on them. Now if you notice, that grill is charcoal gray. My cushions here are tan <laughs> and our fireplace is tan. Um, I may be doing a DIY on this fireplace once I feel better to paint it, the stones on it, the charcoal gray to match the grill. Now as far as the seating, I may switch it out with the seating I have inside on my indoor portion of my patio because that has great cushions. You make it work. You use what you have. It's so peaceful out here. You hear the birds chirping. <laughs> and that's what I love. But let me chit chat with you for a bit. Um, fall is fastly approaching, and creators are already pumping out fall videos. I am, I consider myself behind, and uh, being sick is not helping. So, what I think I'm going to do, uh, I love to do decorate with me videos all the time to share with you how I decorate but this time I'm just gonna sh just just decorate the space 
and do it as a tour. I think that'll help me out and I can get the content out to you. Um, I'm also planning after I do that, since I am, I have very little energy. Um, I think I'm gonna take a week, maybe two off. So I'm asking my blessies. Once I get all this content out, plus I have a couple of coll collaborations coming up with uh, a couple of companies. Once I get those out, I will be taking a break so I can take care of myself. Um, me feeling this way, I've been feeling this way, I think since July. You know, trying to take care of my house, household, trying to get my son moved in, trying to take care of my grandson. My energy is zapped. So uh, I'm gonna focus on me for a week or two. Asking my blessedies to support the channel, even if it means watching a video twice, three times, just support the channel because this is our channel. This is not just my channel. This is your channel too, all right? So yes, just wanted to come on here and let you know, uh, you may not see me for a week or so. And if you don't see me, that's why, all right? All right, now that I got my meat off the grill, all I have to do is cut up my ribs. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and make some homemade coleslaw. I have my cabbage and carrot mix. I, I chopped it up. And I cut, chopped up some onions. And I have some pickle relish, sweet relish, mayonnaise. Now that's, our, that's not the usual mayo that we use. We like dupes, but. They was out of it. I got some mustard, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. So what I do, I, I mix this, put this in the bowl. Have to be careful with that. You cut yourself, it's sharp. I usually use about a spoonful of um, pickle relish. And that's a big for spoon though. <laughs> yeah. Good little heaping of relish. And uh, about a tablespoonful of mustard. And I like mine a little bit dry, so I use about a tablespoon of mayonnaise. And I'll mix it up. Once you mix it good, then you add your black pepper, salt, and sugar. You try to use the same amount of sugar as you do salt. So I don't overly salt mine but you want that grainy taste to it. So that's where the sugar come in and the salt come in. The salt give it a little bit of, you know, a little bit of- Salty sweet. Salty sweet, right. Black pepper in. Careful with the salt. Don't want to over salt it. And that's about what a teaspoon? About a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. You know, we love to cook without truly measuring. <laughs> That's called cooking with love.
<laughs> About a teaspoon of sugar. Then you put a little saran wrap over it and put it in the refrigerator for chilling. And that dish is good to go. And that dish is good to go. No grapes, no raisins. <laughs> Now, after I cut them, I normally put them back in the oven so they'll cook some more on their own. On low. On low. With their own juices. They already have that grill. Taste in them, right? Yep. So right now, hubby is making a 7-Up cake. Very easy, and actually, we're going by one of our family friends that has a YouTube channel. Hi, Carrie, I'm giving you a plug here. Carrie's Cozy Kitchen. Guys, go over and show her some love. She does a lot of cooking on her channel. Food looks delicious, <laughs> but this has been inspired by you, Carrie. Uh, we saw that cake and we was like, oh yes, we're gonna make it for Labor Day. So hubby has three sticks of butter in here. He's adding, what, three cups of sugar? Three cups of sugar. Pulled out our KitchenAid here and he's gonna let that beat or mix on low. So to incorporate together. Cheese let that just cream up for about seven minutes. The butter and the sugar. Add eggs one at a time. And you got to watch it till the yolk disappear. Six eggs, one at a time. So what I'll do, I'll try to list this uh, recipe in my description box below, guys, of this 7-Up cake, just in case you want to make, make it, try it yourself. It's very, very easy. So now we're going to add the three cups of flour a little at a time. And you intermittently add the seven up.
So he's gonna continue to alternate from the flower to the seven up until it's incorporated. Stay tuned. Okay, now I got my butt pan. That's what we're gonna bake the cake in. I add a little grease to it. You can use this kind of shortening grease or you can use spray. Then you just add a little flour to it. It's old school, y'all. All right, show the grease pan. All right, I got my, my butt pan all greased. And so the next step is I'm going to take the beat out. When we was growing up, this was the best part right here, the beater. Licking that beater. <laughs> Licking that beater. Mama, mama would hand the beater to us to lick. <laughs> oh, it was so, so good. You sit in the kitchen until mama handed you that. You take the pan. Okay. And you go around. oven has been preheated to 325. Gonna go in for about an hour, 15, an hour, 20 minutes. So now I'm gonna make some barbecue baked beans to go with our ribs, burger, sausage, coleslaw, and that good old cake we just made. So first I wanna do, I got some bell peppers and some onions. I'm gonna make me cry here. Gotta cut them up some more. Got some barbecue sauce. I got some mustard, yellow mustard. Got some ketchup. Um, I got my spray to spray the pan with, and I got my baked beans. And I got my ground beef, which I'm gonna brown. I'm gonna saute the peppers and onions with the ground beef. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop up with my hatchet. I'm gonna chop up the peppers. Move the uh, peppers and stuff so they can see. I'm gonna chop them up small. And then I'm gonna chop up the onions. Piece right there. I go dump that on in the pan. But I like to cut them up fine. When I was growing up, my Uncle Ulysses used to come over to the house and he cut all the celery, bell pepper, and onion up for my mom's famous potato salad. And he cut them so fine, you could barely tell that they was in there because they was really small. But for baked beans, you don't have to do that so much. You just have to cut them up because Especially when you saute them, they'll cook down. Mom, I'm missing that potato salad today. <laughs> right, saute that, and I'll be right back.
So we're cooking two cans of country style baked beans. So the ingredient we forgot to tell you about was the brown sugar. We use a spoon of that in there also. One of my brothers here on YouTube, Brother Ray, ever since I saw your video on your baked beans, I kind of follow that. <laughs> Absolutely love that recipe. one to another so he's adding a uh, few spoons of brown sugar Very easy recipe as well. You could also add molasses if you want or syrup, but the brown sugar is gonna kind of take that place of that. Stir it up real good while we're browning that meat and peppers and onions. Stay tuned. Okay, now I'm just gonna mix my meat all over. Meat has been drained of the grease the fat and then mix it in and how long are you baking for? Probably about 30 minutes. About 30 minutes. On about 350. Mm -hmm. So this will go in the oven when the cake is finished. So, well, I finished the cake. Kara, we did the same as you. I didn't wait for it long enough to cool before I turned it, but it still turned out really good. Um, I knew it was a good cake because my boys came down and ate it. They couldn't wait till we, uh, cause I was gonna dust it with some sugar. It didn't need it. And they didn't even give us the chance to do that.
Thanks for letting me take over Kim's channel today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I hope you all continue to support Kim. Make sure that you subscribe to her channel. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified when she posts other videos. And see you all soon.